accept just feeling like you belong. Pretty much everyone at some point in life is guilty of just wanting to feel normal. And we're pretty much willing to do whatever it takes to make others feel like we're okay. What am I talking about? <laughs> Consider the fake laugh. And that's when I said, look here buddy, those aren't even my nuts. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> says a lame or disgusting joke, which guy number two obviously doesn't find funny. But that doesn't stop guy number two from forcing a laugh from deep within. Why? Because guy number two is still in the probation period at his job and not laughing at the boss's jokes could cost him dearly. Even when it's people you don't know. It still happens. Party, let's go party. I'm a party girl in a party Wanting to fit in can be so subtle, we don't even notice. I mean, can you explain this? Yes, Connie, yes, I'm outside. <laughs> I wouldn't be a good news reporter if I didn't pick up my fellow reporter. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting. Yes. <sighs> this is Dr. Love You Down Logan, and you're listening to the smooth breakfast mix in the AM. Mm, <laughs> that jam right there was constructed by Stony Steve Chu, made with 100% organic love nectar. Just for your to give it all up and get out the studio right now. That's right. Get out the studio. This is stick up. Y'all gotta move right now. Get out here. I'm not quite sure. What you mean you can't understand me, buddy? Chew, you can't understand what I'm saying. Now you can get your stuff and you get up out here now. Wait a minute, brother. Wait a minute. Now you don't want to do this. We are live on the air. Man, get up. We want man. Get up. Get your stuff and get out of here. This is a stick up! A stick up! Okay. I said this is a stick up! I understand where you're stick coming from, up. bro. Stick S T I K up. You you know what I'm talking about. They don't pay me enough. Dude, get out of this studio. Have get out of this studio. I'm taking it on the radio yeah, now. Yeah. Yo. We take it on radio and yeah. we got our greatest hits. Yeah. Two, uh, now, now listen, we take it on the studio and uh, this is my, my nephew. Uh, yeah. Nephew got his greatest hits and we want you to listen to him right now. Uh, cause it it's gonna be good. So y'all listen and, and and get ready. And it it's a different style, but shoot, y'all y'all gonna, gonna love it. So but pop the CD. Uh, put your hands in L, okay? All right, listen. Bye. I, I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. Girl, I'm mad. I'm a gangster. My rhymes are bad. I'm a gangster. I'm oh, I'm a gangster. Like I'm ah. a gangster. I don't listen to Weezer. Gee. I dropped out of school at the age of three. Because <laughs> all the teachers I'm a to play or hate on me. Oh, my rhymes uh. are cool. Just like doing cocaine. My rhymes are hot. Like a burning <laughs> no flame. Seat belt. Cisco is I'm my gangster. He's a gangster too. <laughs> I'm a gangster. Cisco are the leaders of the gangster crew. <laughs> Okay, maybe that one was more so the influence of music, but, but my point is this. We've got to start accepting who we really are and stop trying to fit in just because we're lonely and, and want to feel like we're part of something bigger. Look, take it from someone who spent many years trying to fit in, only to realize I was still lonely. Sure, you can dress the same way as everyone else, talk the same way, mimic everything they do, but at the end of the day, if they're not into the same things as you, you can be surrounded by hundreds of people and still feel like you're by yourself. Look, stay true to who you are and find a community that's like you via online and real world. You'll be glad you did and you'll feel like you belong. So tell me, 
When was the last time you felt like you didn't belong, but you tried to fit in? Leave your comments down below in the comment section, because you guys know I love to check in on you.